All right, so this is going to be a siege defense guide video. Uh, this is the guild I'm in, Rebel Alliance. We tend to be high G1 to low G3. Rankings are a little weird right now with uh, ever since the reset happens, we kind of been all over the place. I think a lot of people have. It's okay. Um, I tend to do pretty well in Siege, so people often ask me for advice regarding their defenses and stuff. I'm not always the highest contributor, but I often am. And uh, anyways, here's my defenses currently. I usually reset records, but since I was making this video, I wanted to have some kind of evidence that I do okay. My personal goal is a one-to-one, one-to-loss ratio. The uh, zero to zero there with Bastet and Perna, uh, that one's usually one-to-one. -one. It just hasn't been hit in a while. Vigor is obviously king. You can build 10 Vigors, and he fits in any defense. He's just absurdly good right now. Uh, when I don't get one-to-one, -one, I'll usually move runes around or change the comp up a bit or build another Vigor or something like that. Anyways, there's this great post on Reddit by the user Revel Rain. Um, I'll put the link in the description so y'all can get to it easy. Where he talks about uh, G3, I think he said he's been as high as rank 10 in Siege. He didn't say what guild he was in, but that's fine. Um, anyways, there's a lot that I agree with. Never go mono element should be pretty obvious and even don't even have two of the same element you want to minimize the offense's ability to manipulate your AI because that's the main advantage the offense has over the defense is AI is dumb and you can manipulate it to your advantage and get easy wins. Um, of course, they offset that with violent procs that are totally in favor of the defense, but that's okay. So have at least one fire unit to limit the effectiveness of copper Katarina Lucian comps. That's smart. Have two threats, that's huge. Having just one threat, you kill the threat and then the defense falls apart. So having two threats is pretty huge. Um, a defense breaker that hits, hits more than one target. So like Bastet, Ethna, that kind of thing. Annavel, AOE defense breaks are really, really good. Or having two different defense breakers, like have both Zing, the Winds Monkey King guy, and Vigor. Have both of them, so you have two defense breakers. Uh, Retesh, another AOE one. Or a unit that targets randomly. LD units, like Bella, is always going to target a dark unit. But if you don't bring a dark unit, then it's just going to target one of the random elements. So any kind of way to, again minimize the offensive means of manipulating AI and defense break is huge for that. Um, have Theo Mars, have Fought Dam. This was uh, about a year ago, the post. A lot of it still applies. I think Theo Mars has fallen out of the meta a little bit. Fought Dam you only really see with Martina, in which case the bullet point should say have Martina because she's kind of busted. Um, or outrun them with variant level runes, that makes sense. So this is the main disagreement I have with the post, is this emphasis he has on will runes for defenses. Will runes get them, will runes get them, and bold will runes get them. I, I just, I don't really get why defenses need will runes. Um, speed tuning is vital, vital uh, count on your attack or having will runes. See, this is true. So on offense, your guild offense will have will runes. RTA, everyone's going to have will runes, hopefully. Um, arena defense, will runes are important. But I don't see the importance in guild defenses having will runes. And I, I mean, I don't mind showing you my runes, but if you look, I have, have will runes on very few units. Um, and the reason is, if you go to this website, swgt.io, you can see common counters to common defenses. So like Kamun Skogel Vigors, pretty huge right now. So 
does any of these offenses care if this defense has will runes or not? So here's Elusia Harmonia Vigor. Well, this is going to take the second turn, right? Because Kamun has a speed lead, so Vigor on theirs, on the defensive side, is going to go first 10 times out of 10. Unless you have a Swift Vigor and they have a slow Violent Vigor, then maybe not. Regardless, doesn't really care if they're on will runes. It's a slow grindy match where you control the vigor, kill the commune, uh, control the skogel, kill the vigor, then kill the skogel. So, Ajir Lauren uh, Delfoy is her name. That one, same thing. It doesn't really care if there's will runes. It's not any kind of cleave comp, it's bruisers versus bruisers. I guess Lauren isn't really a bruiser, but a Jira I would consider a bruiser, and then a support from Delphoi. I don't really know what's called Lauren, other than control, like attack bar control. Anyways, it doesn't particularly care about will runes. It's going to take the second turn as well, and you're just going to control the attack bars and slowly probably kill Kamun first, maybe Vigor. Kind of depends if... Uh, Lauren Lancer, defense break. But anyways, it has nine upvotes to three downvotes. I think that's more so a rune issue. I think it's a good counter. I use a Jir Lauren Harmonia. Harmonia is very good against Gogol always. Um, but Delphoi is too. So I think people that lost with this comp probably need more HP on their Lauren or a Jir or both. Or they need artifacts or some combination of that because... Skogel's Rock can drop, Rock can drop, and uh, Kamun can change his targeting from Delphoi to Lauren, and that's probably how you lose. So they say Kamun Vigor, then Skogel. Like, that's fine. Um, Ashir, Molly, Vigor. Molly's kind of a free win against anything. So it's, again, just, it's not going to be a comp that cares about will runes. And that's my uh, main argument here. And you can go example to example. The main thing is look at how people beat defenses. They use Bulwark, Wusa, Molong. I mean, that's not ever going to care if they're on will runes. Fengyan, Amelia, uh, Dozer. That, again, doesn't care if they're on will runes. You're going to ignore defense. It's more important to have will runes on your offense than it is defense because... You're just going to ignore defense or be a bruiser versus bruiser match, and it'll be slow and grindy, but you have not dumb AI versus dumb AI, so you can pull the win. Um, that doesn't mean will runes are bad by any means. Will runes are certainly good, and certain defenses, of course, benefit from will runes. Um, what was the one I was going to show you? Oh, here's the, another one, Jean Clara Miho. This one gets bombed, so... It's going to take second turn. You bring water monsters, a light tank like Halfass, because, I mean, you're not going to try to Lucian it. Miho is too scary to Lucian. So you bring bombs, you bring a Karis, um, this wind ninja team, a low crit, right, Sophia? That's interesting. It's one of a one down vote. Um, anyways, I, I, I think I got my point across with will runes um let me talk about this one so martina shana triana that one does benefit from real will runes uh, because well first of all this comp is just stupidly good and it can be built in various ways which is kind of why it's particularly good because you don't really know what you're going into other than what the monsters are you have no idea how they're going to be ruined it could be a very fast Shayna and like glass cannon do a bunch of damage kind of thing. Or, and what I would say is more likely, is it's slow on will and super tanky. Um, that way, this comp, Galleon Julie, light tank, either a, like Grago or a Darien or any kind of light tank has a whole lot of trouble. And you see the upvotes and downvotes, plus six, minus four. So if this comp went up against a squishy Martina, Shayna, Triana, then they'd probably be fine. And you can see 
This guy says you don't need a defense break. Well, <laughs> sometimes you do against them, right? They're just super, super tanky. And then they are going to hit hard regardless because they're going to land everything. They're going to stun you. They're going to defense break you. They're going to violent proc like crazy. So you don't need to ruin them like speed, crit damage, attack. You can ruin them just triple HP, have them be speed tuned with each other. And anyone that attempts to cleave it is going to have a hard time. Um, this one's probably pretty good. The Susano Orion Stella. And this, again, this where will runes would be important. You could even do shield will to make Orion even less effective. So since there are not much counters in G3, Martina, Shayna, Triana's will wreck your cleave teams, like double water twins, Gally, Julie, you can give a try with Orion. If you manage to strip defense break, just one of the twins, you are GG. If they have shield will, they're screwed. So yeah, uh, ruin them, shield will, if you happen to have Martina. Um, I certainly recommend Triana over Hua Dam. I think Hua Dam makes it easier to Julie or Lucian than Triana does. The sustain she provides is really nice. Anyways, that's enough of that. All right, so this is a Excel sheet I made to help me with theory crafting defenses. It's essentially a checklist of the monsters' kits to get a bunch of good things out of the three monsters going on the defense, right? Uh, if you think of a, a resume with requirements and preferences, that's essentially what this is. Um, so there's two main archetypes with defenses. You have cleaves and tanky bruisers. Both of them are going to want three different elements. So fire, water, wind. And then if you happen to have LDs, if your LD scrolls actually give you things, then you can use LDs in there. But you want three different ones is the main thing. Some relevant leader skill for cleave speed is more important because if you don't have a speed lead, you could just get outsped and cleaved yourself pretty easily. Of course, it depends on the comp. Like I was talking earlier with the Martina Shayna one, that one doesn't necessarily need a uh, speed lead. The attack lead from Martina is just fine. Um, but anyways, relevant lead for tanky bruisers, uh, HP percent, resistance, defense is okay. Uh, crit rate is garbage, but some kind of relevant lead to the comp. Defense break is important on both. Ignoring defense is something cleaves can do. Uh, stripper is nice for cleaves because you have a uh, shield will is just a, tends to be a counter for a lot of cleaves. So some form of stripper to screw over shield will is uh, ideal for tanky bruiser comps. In case someone brings a tanky bruiser to your tanky bruiser and it's just going to be a long drawn out match, you just want to throw in as much sustain as possible to counter their sustain and let your violent procs do work. And then two or more threats, you want at least two threats for sure, no matter what the comp is. So rune requirements, speed tuned is a must always. Everywhere in the game you want speed tuning. And uh, for rune requirements, you won't see will anywhere for me. I don't think will is as important as violent is. Violent is absolutely necessary in every comp. Violent gets you defense wins. Um, like I was saying earlier with you want to minimize the offense's ability to manipulate AI, you also want to maximize the defense's RNG. And you do that with violent or despair. Hey buddy. So have all three on violent or with cleaves generally you're gonna have at least one person on swift again it depends on the comp but usually julie's gonna be on swift uh maybe like sierra gianna comps gianna will usually be on swift not always it just depends um so then the desired stuff so less necessary and more just helpful so some form of attack bar increase for cleaves uh, crowd control is real big. Uh, AOE strip is better than single target strip. Some form of sustain, either in the form of heals or shields. Beast Riders are kind of busted. Not so much now that they got their little nerf, but they're still really good. Um, and then 
I guess you can just put any OP monster here, not necessarily Beast Riders, just have OP mons, then you get wins. Congratulations. So for tanky bruiser comps, you have random AOE or uh, two plus defense breakers. Uh, so random defense breaker could be like a light dark defense breaker, which is not necessarily random, but it's a little more random than the other elements. AOE defense break that is random because it can land on anyone. That's your Ethna, your Retesh, uh, etc. Or just having more than one monster of different element having defense break. That's that's ideal to um, minimize their means of manipulating AI. So, anyways, some form of CC provoke. So again, Gene is really really good. Tyrannus and Abelio, they have Provoke and the stun on skill one, just like Gene does. Some kind of strip, so people will just get wins with Amelia, Fellow Jewel, Wusa. It's kind of challenging to play against. Hey, buddy. So, some kind of strip at least helps you out a little bit against those OP offenses that are generally just free wins. The good news is people don't have 10 Wusas, and in Siege, you get two just spam the same defense over and over. So eventually you start getting wins, right? I think a destroy set is very, very good compared to Will. I try to have at least one destroy set on every defense. And I'll show you my defenses here in a minute. And you can see a lot of them will have a, a destroy set. I think it helps a whole lot because when it's bruiser versus bruiser and they don't have destroy and you do, the match gets grindy go on a long time eventually their damage is subsiding because they brought some kind of hp based damage right and mine isn't so they can get wins um hp slash defense based damage i think that's important just because in the way you ruin your monsters if you do an hp based damage monster then you don't have to worry about attack right you just worry about hp make him super tanky, which makes him harder to kill, and he does good damage. So that's why Beast Monks are your traditional really good defense monster. And then 100 resistance, that just makes it so much more annoying because resistance actually works on defense. So having 100 resistance, um, you'll see both my genes have around 59% resistance. So they're at 100 with their leader skill, um, just to be extra annoying, right? So here are some comps and how the checklist works, right? So Kamun Bastet Odin, that's a meta comp. You have three different elements. You have a speed lead, you have defense break, and you have defense ignoring. Uh, Odin has a single target strip. Kamun, if ruined right, is a threat. So you have two or more threats. You have attack bar increase. If you rune Kamun on despair, that gives you crowd control. There's no AOE strip, but that's okay. And then there is sustain in the form of Kamun shields and Bastet shields. So it's a hitting a whole lot of the checklist, and that's why that comp is so good, and you see it everywhere. Kamun Skogel Vigor similarly hits a whole lot of the checklist. Um, there's no random defense break or AoE or 2 plus defense break, but Skogel's rock does ignore defense, so you can kind of say that is pseudo checked, right? And similarly, there's no crowd control, but I personally run my Kamoons on Despair because it just adds that much more RNG, which is good. Um, there is no strip either, but on four-star bases, there's not much in the form of immunity, right? There's the Heart Magicians, but it's only a single, start or a single turn of immunity, so it doesn't last very long. So strip isn't quite as important in four-star bases. And then it certainly has HP based damage, all the HP based damage in that comp. So here are some other ones. Gene Kumar Manchura is one a uh, guildie of mine uses. I've been using it a long time and it's always done really well. Hits pretty much everything except maybe the at least two threats. Kumar is the main threat, but it's just everyone's tanky. There's crowd control, there's violent runes, and there's random defense breaking from Manchura. Manchura is really good at a uh, being that random defense breaker since it's AOE and his AI is pretty smart. Unlike Ethna, who has stupid AI, unfortunately, I wish she had better because her kit's kind of insane. Um, Ophelia, Ethna, Abelio down here. 
three elements, has a relevant leader skill, has defense break from Ethna, has a healer from Abelio. Abelio if runed right is a threat himself. Ethna is the AoE defense breaker. Abelio's got provoke. Ophelia has the, I don't know what it's called, the pseudo provoke. Um, Ethna strips. <laughs> you go outside? Okay. So, anyways, Ophelia, Ethna, Abelio hits all them check marks. And that's what you're trying to do, right? Just hit all the check marks you can. M minimize their means of manipulating AI. Maximize your defense's RNG through your runes. Be speed tuned. Alright, so here are my current defenses. You'll see all of them are three different elements. And. Almost all of them will have either an AOE defense break or more than one defense breaker. So this one does not have that. It has only the single defense break from Fang, unfortunately. So it's one of my weaker comps. I made it just because I wanted to try Platy out and I'm not sure what other, I mean, I could throw in Vigor, <laughs> I guess, Vigor instead of Chandra, but I would need a fifth Vigor for that. And I don't know if I want to keep spending D-hole energy on Vigors. Um, but who knows, maybe I will. And it's it's doing okay. It's it's three and four. Um, another thing you'll see out of my comps is very few will runes. So Fang is on destroy. Chandra is on destroy. Lots of destroy. Um, Platy is on violent energy. Uh, nothing too special there. I... I don't know if she would benefit from will runes. I feel like this comp, people just use Dozer against maybe like o Olivia, Rakuni Dozer, something like that. So I don't think will runes are that important if you're just going to, or maybe like uh, Kali, Chloe, Covenant is a pretty popular comp, comp for uh, just ignoring Chandra's defense with Covenant and just one-shotting him. In this case, I guess you kill Platy first, so she doesn't just bring people back, but whatever. Um, Ophelia, Ethna, Abelio. Uh, we saw that on the Excel sheet. So it hits all the check marks, but it's not doing incredibly well. Part of that would be rune quality, and then part of that I hear Ethna has just bad AI on defense, unfortunately. Um, I have her runed on Violent now. She was on Despair, so I'm hoping Violent runes will help her take more of the correct turns and not the incorrect turns of doing skill one over and over because she should be able to do this skill just every other turn right and be defense breaking like crazy and taking lots of turns and then she's got an innate stun and strip and now it's even she's stealing the beneficial effects so she's got a crazy kit and then awesome base stats to boot so I, I want to get her to work. Um, if I can get a defense working for her, then I'll give her more premium runes. But in the meantime, she's just ruined okay. And then Abelio, he has the destroy set in this comp. So Kamun, Monty, Vigor. This is currently my best defense. It's doing really well, kind of carrying my contribution at 20 and 4 right now. So that's a 5 to 1 win-loss ratio, right? And that's because Dice Magician's like brownie magicians take lots of turns so there's lots of rng there's lots of stuns my commune's on despair also so plenty of despair or plenty of stuns i should say and then vigor is just he's bigger so he's hard to deal with uh galleon clara miho it's pretty meta right now it used to be galleon clara yen which i think foxy popularized that with his malicious video showing their defenses uh, Miho kind of took over Yin's spot because, well, it's dark for one thing, and it's more challenging to kill 
as the other. Um, Yen, you can kind of tank with Rina. Not always, because Galleon somehow always lands defense break on defenses, which is strange. Um, but it, it is what it is. It's a pretty good comp. If you want to make it like particularly good, I think Miho needs to be on Violent. And then if you can make her like 100 resistance, because I think people tend to bomb this comp. Or you can also do like HP tank. So maybe a bomb doesn't one shot her or uh, a Karas, the the dark sylph, I think. Uh, if it can't one shot it, then Miho, you know, keeps doing Miho things until their cooldowns reset. So I think violent and either an HP tank or 100 res or combination of that is really strong. I don't have that because my runes are spread too thin at this point, my violent runes anyways. So, and I don't like Miho enough to give her super quality runes. They're just, I have her like a Garrow Glass Cannon kind of build. Rakan, Annabelle, Tyrannus. So another AOE defense breaker with Annabelle. Tyrannus has extra sustain with the defense buff. I gave him the RTA aura. I think it looks nice. Um, Rakan is on Violent Will, so I do have Will runes. They exist. Annabelle is also on Will. And this is more so just because of the stats, not necessarily because they need Will. It's just like that has good accuracy and health and defense and attack for it. has, you know, all the things. This one has lots of attack and defense, not much speed, but it's got all of the things, which Annabelle needs all of the things, right? She needs health, attack, and defense to do stuff well. And then Tyrannus, he has my destroy set in this comp. So everyone's got a, all right, not every comp, but almost every comp has a destroy set. So Light Drunken Master, I really like. I gave him good runes because he proved himself well, unlike Ethna. Uh, this comp, um, I can't prove that it's one-to-one -one. it's zero to zero right now but in the past it's been one-to-one -one and even better than one-to-one -one. not so much as we got higher in rank but it was like one and a half to one then fell to one-to-one -one. anyways he earned his transmog he earned one of my most efficient violent sets it doesn't look like one of my most efficient violent sets it just is because his base stats suck so bad right so he needs really good runes to work. So he has like that silliness and that silliness. But anyways, he he does good things. And then Perna has the destroy set, not will. <laughs> I like destroy Perna too for offense. If I do Gene Perna, Vigor or something, um, if it's a grindy match, the destroy on Perna can be helpful. Also, it's uh, stat-wise, too. Like, they were good destroy runes, so. Gene, Beast Monk, Vigor. Nothing special there. Gene, Beast Monk, X has been meta for a long, long time. Uh, Gene, Chandra, Perna was there for a long time. Uh, not so much now. The problem with Gene, Chandra, Perna is there's no defense break at all. It's just a really annoying comp. And, of course, you can spam comps over and over, so your counters go away. Anyways, nothing special there. Destroy on Kumar. Uh, 59 resistance on Gene, on both genes. Just to make it extra annoying. Um, super, super tanky Ritesh. Because now you can't. Well, you may be able to copper him. Man, that's really freaking out. What was that? That was neat. So, yeah, I mean, some coppers will be able to one shot, but other coppers will. I have a challenging time to to one shot him. Sierra Orion, not as good as Sierra Iris, but I don't have Iris because LD scrolls don't actually give you things. They just kind of, you know, it's three star food. It is what it is. Um, this comp can do really well. Like this guy rep in my guild, he invested runes into the comp, and so it does well it's 23 and 18 so it can get the one-to-one -one win loss ratio right uh, mine does not because i haven't invested crazy runes into it i invested my runes elsewhere so it is what it is 
uh, Kamun Vigor Skogel. So this is the big meta comp that everyone runs everywhere. And just to show speed tuning, right? So I have 146 on Kamun. I have 130 on Vigor. And I have 108 on Skogel. So, and then you saw this uh, Despair Kamun. If we go to my speed tuning thing real quick. So, if you want to get to the 286 speed breakpoint, that's that's your goal. So 128 on Vigor, mine was 130. That gets you to 287 battle speed. 101 is Kamun's base, 146 from the runes puts him at 286, which is exactly the breakpoint. So your Vigor is going to be one speed faster than Kamun. That way he can land defense break, and then Kamun can do his big skill too to deal a whole lot of damage. And then 106 is what you want on Skogel to be at the 239 breakpoint. Obviously, if you're not able to do that, go for the, the 239 or the 205, but just go to do your best to speed tune, is what I'm saying, and to hit the speed breakpoints so you're being efficient with your runes. So, anyways, go back here. That's all of them. That's my records. They're they're doing okay. They will be erased here shortly, and I'll probably move a few of them around. And my contribution during this win. So, hopefully this video is helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.